Hi guys, it's Elmer, your fire protection guy. Welcome back to this channel. We're going to show you how to test a flame stop addressable fire indicating panel PFS 200. So let's begin. Okay, this is the PFS 200. The password for this system is that. I always write it down so I will not forget it every time I have a fire panel, a new fire panel in my head. Okay, so to do that, the first thing you have to do is if you don't want to run the car park exhaust fan, you need to isolate those particular modules here. All right, for example, this one I will isolate the 1668 fire trip which is address 229 and 230 this is how you do it we are going to the enable and disable all right and then we're going to disable the device number one we're going to do individual points number two okay now it's loop one and then what point we're after this, this, this is loop one already connected to loop one, the existing circuit. So two, two, nine. All right, so you press two, two, nine. So one, it's already there, so press enter. So, uh, sorry. You press one and it jumps to the next one. And then you number two, two, nine. That's two, two, nine. And then you press enter. See, the disabled light just come off. The next one that we're going to isolate is number 230. That is, you are avoiding a car park exhaust fan run. All right, and then we go again. Individual points. And then loop one, just press one. And then two, three, and then zero. All right. Now that 230 is now disabled. Let's escape, escape, escape. Right now we had system normal with this uh, with disabled. All right, those to view the disable, you just press that button. And you have one out of one, 1668, five free disabled. All right, so we disabled two system. Should be one out of two. I don't know why, it depends on the program because I'm not or not really good in programming the system. All right, the best way to test the system, let's escape, is using a smoke gun, all right? So the nearest detector is there. We're going to make an announcement. Announcement, all right. Your attention, please, the firearm system on test. The firearm system on test. Please disregard all emergency warning. The firearm system on test. All right, we did the announcement. So we can spray that detector there. All right. You see the spray gun? This is the only way to initiate a test in the fire alarm panel. All right, there you go. Coming up. All right, that's the red light. All right, the system is on alarm. Now there goes the alarm. We have an evacuation system activation. So we just switch the noise off. All right, so no more noise. So what we're going to do next is to reset the system. All right, to reset the system, we press these buttons here. Silence, you can ignore that. Just silence that one and then let's clear that. All clear. We still have a disable. So we're going to clear that. Sometimes the alarm will come back because that detector is still on alarm or it's on a pre-alarm. We're going to put the system to auto and then we began doing the disable, the enable. Enable, we want to enable a device, number two, individual points, Number two, and then one, and then what did we do? Two, two, eight. 
and then enter and then the next one individual points again loop one two three zero enter all right let's see if this what do we have two two nine sorry we did two two eight <laughs> so we then aim loop two again loop one two two nine enter that is our disabled so everything now back to normal escape escape so system is and now back to normal all good so that's how you test an pfs 200 flame stop fire indicating panel all good i hope you learned something today see you next time this is elmer your fire protection guy